Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo beat tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you guys how you can make something that looks like this. A super cool logo and it's super easy as well. So as long as you follow along, it should be no problem at all. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make a new project. So go to new project. Make sure the width is 800 and the height is 800 as well. Name it whatever you'd like and hit create. So now our canvas is blank. So what we want to do now is find a picture of some kind of character or some kind of background. So I'm going to be using a random Fortnite character. So let's just go with one of them. Um, the one I used in this uh, example I showed you at the beginning, it should be somewhere here. So let me just find it. All right. So I found the image that I used in the example. So we're just going to bring this into photo piece. So just copy and paste it. I'm going to have to edit free transform it so I can make it a little bit bigger. And don't worry if it's not like extremely good quality. That's not a big deal. Um, this isn't that bad. So about right here is good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some text and I'm going to type in a T. So here's my T. I'm going to change the size to about 800 and the font I like is Edo or Edo. I'm not really sure how to say it, but this one right here, this one looks really nice with what I'm going for. So I'm just going to go with that. Hit that check mark, bring it to the center of your uh, logo. So here it's at the center now. So just double click on it to select it and change the color up here to white. So now we have it as white and just change the blend mode on it to overlay. So now you can see this. And we're just going to double click on the T and go into inner glow, change the color to like a light blue, change the blend mode to color dodge. And I'm just going to turn the opacity all the way up to hundred and I'm going to adjust the spread and size to about here. Looks pretty good. Hit okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to click on the bottom one and go up to edit free transform. And I'm just going to hold shift while I resize it. Turn the opacity down on it. It's kind of hard to tell, but just make it bigger than the top layer. So it's kind of like an outline. Okay. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we are going to darken our background layer. So go ahead and get your brush over here and go up here to this drop down menu and click this soft mechanical. I would say turn it up to about 405 and leave everything else the same, except turn the opacity down to about 58% and just start brushing until it's dark around your text. So like this, and I think it looks pretty cool so far. That's really, it was really fast. That's really all you had to do, but instead I'm going to do something else to the background as well. Go over here to the blur tool, turn it all the way up to about 244, keep the hardness at hundred and just start to brush the background and kind of blur it so that the text is your main focus. It gives it a nice look. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to this half circle. First go to the top text, click on it, and then go down here to this half circle, click on brightness and contrast, turn up the brightness, turn up the contrast a bit. I did 18 and 18. Go back down to that half circle, go to vibrance, turn up the vibrance just a tad and as well as saturation. So about eight and six. Go back down to that half circle one more time and go to curves and just move this one up on this line and down on this line. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. Super easy. looks really clean and professional. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe as always. Turn on notifications and uh, let's get to uh, let's get to 10K, guys. I really hope to get 10K pretty soon, maybe in like eight months, but we'll see.
So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.